now on Cokes TV News. Helene hits Florida. We look at the storm that increased its intensity as it made landfall late Thursday night. And Helene is making its way through Georgia now as a tropical storm, and it's moving to the north and northwest as it will dissipate well to our west as we go through time. And then we'll see rain remnants from Helene over the next few days. I'll tell you what that means for the weekend coming up. The paid parking season has come to an end for many coastal communities, and I'll tell you why this time of year is crucial for businesses in Rehoboth Beach. Biden's beach trip begins when he's expected to arrive on our coast and the flight restrictions that go with it. This is Coast TV News Today. And we are in our six o'clock hour. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, I'm Paige Marley. It is Friday, September 27th, 2024. Yeah, bringing, being in a coastal region, yeah. storms like Helene have our attention as we await sunrise in the Eastern time zone. We yeah. expect to see some of the impact of what it did overnight. Yeah, definitely. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Like Bob said earlier, you know, once the sun comes up, we're gonna have pretty, yeah. I don't know what the word would be, but sad. Yeah. I'll go with that. Sad, sad's a good description. Sad images of, of Florida, but we'll wait for that. Right now, though, we have not as much rain, maybe a little bit on our coast. So we'll bring in Bob right now. Bob, what are we looking at today? Yeah, good morning, guys. We're seeing rain, but not to the scale of the intensity that there's saw in Florida with that tremendous hurricane. As you said, as day breaks, we'll probably see some sad video with all the storm surge and crazy wind up to about 140 miles per hour in Florida with that hurricane. But for us, it's clouds, it's drizzle, it's some light rain across Sussex County, Bridgeville, Ellendale, back to Lewis right now. Even where you don't see green, you still could be looking at some drizzle and light rain. So that could also be the case from Salisbury to the coast right now, the eastern shore also seeing some some very light rain. We're socked in with the clouds and we've got the rain across areas of Virginia as well. And this little band of rain will continue to move our way. So keep the rain gear handy. You'll need it really much of the day out the door. Temperatures into the low 70s and we've got light winds, but it's that area you can wear. Here's your future cast with the clouds. We've got drizzle and light rain by 11. We're seeing temperatures into the mid 70s. I think upper 70s for some of us, especially inland areas. If you see a little bit of sun this afternoon, but then the wind picks up this evening and so will the rain UV index sponsored by Ocean City. It's only a three, but still have the sunscreen handy. You still get the UV rays through those clouds and we're in the medium range the next several days. So SPF 30 probably just have that in your pocket right as we go through the weekend into early next week. And the breaking news is the Helene situation. It was a hurricane when Helene made landfall in Florida late Thursday night. This morning it is now a tropical storm over Georgia. It hit Florida as a Category 4 in the state's Big Bend region. It was just after 11 p.m. Check out this video here from Cedar Key. Helene bringing maximum sustained winds of 140 miles per hour, just 45 miles away from Tallahassee. And nearly 700,000 people in Florida were already without power before landfall, with even more likely to lose power in the coming hours. Florida's governor announcing the state is ready for rescue situations. The state is ready as soon as this storm passes and it's safe to do so uh, to commence uh, search and rescue operations. We have uh, 3,500 National Guardsmen standing by. We have our state guards standing by. We have state troopers standing by and uh, they will be active uh, if need be. And hurricane and tropical storm warnings are in effect across Florida with a storm surge warnings for the state's west coast where surging waters could reach as high as 20 feet in some areas. Rehoboth Beach is one of the many coastal communities that ended their paid parking season on September 15th. Now, although summer's over, the nation's summer capital is still very busy. And Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber is in our newsroom. Elisa, many businesses there try to get as much sales as they can before winter rolls around. Yeah, Matt and Paige, even though it's late September, Rehoboth Beach, it's still really busy during the day and on the weekends. I was actually there last weekend and it was hard to find a parking spot. That's how crowded it was, but that's a good site for businesses. And Rehoboth Beach ended its paid parking period on September 15th. And this summer, the city raised its parking rates to $4 an hour, making it one of the most expensive places to park at the coast. Now that the parking season is over, many locals visit the beach and stores located there. And the city's finance director told commissioners during a meeting on September 20th that parking revenue is expected to fall short of that projected budget. It could be down a minimum of $200,000, according to the finance director. 
Yeah, that's a lot. Now, there's still events that draw tourists in the upcoming weeks. There's Jazz Festival, Sea Witch to name two. Yeah, definitely. And Elisa, during your time in Rehoboth Beach, what are you hearing from business owners now that free parking is back? Yeah, Paige, when the city decided to increase the hourly rate from $3 an hour to $4 an hour, there was a lot of upset throughout Rehoboth Beach from locals and visitors, as well as from business owners and workers. A lot of businesses were worried that this increase would affect them. And back to you. All right, Elisa, thank you so much. Well, the recently completed summer season in Rehoboth Beach was one with increased parking fees from the previous year, like Elisa mentioned. It was in February. The new rates were finalized, and those hourly meters went from $3 to $4. Also, the city increasing its parking permits by a whole 30%. City officials cited the increased budget expenses as their reason for the hike. We have an update on a story we told you about on Thursday. Dewey Beach is looking into a plan to install new drainage trenches in some of the most flood prone areas. Beacon Engineering out of Georgetown gave the presentation to the Dewey Beach Infrastructure Committee. The plan calls for building new drainage trenches on Jersey Street. Total cost would be around $200,000 and there will be another meeting and a chance for public input before anything is finalized. Staying in Dewey Beach now, the swearing in of the two of the new terms for two of the town's commissioners. It was a two year term. The new commissioners, though, they're still well established. Incumbents Bill Stevens and Gary Persinger were the only candidates who filed to run in the municipal election. After they're sworn in, those commissioners will vote to appoint the town mayor. Stevens is ending his one year term in that role. Happening this afternoon, President Joe Biden will make his 11th trip this year to his North Shore's home. He is expected to fly from Scranton, Pennsylvania to the Dover Air Force Base and arrive there at 145. Now, according to the White House press office from Dover, he will travel to Rehoboth Beach and should be in the nation's summer capital at about 215. And this will be Biden's fourth consecutive weekend spent in Delaware with the previous three at his Wilmington area home. A temporary flight restriction for the coast goes into effect today at 1.30 p.m. and Biden is scheduled to leave on Monday morning. For less than 40 days until the general election and Vice President Kamala Harris will make a rare trip to the U.S.-Mexico southern border to address the illegal migrant crisis that has surged over the past three years. Yeah, as NBC's Bree Jackson shows us, former President Donald Trump calling her trip a political ploy as he now visits the battleground state of Michigan. Good afternoon, everyone. Foreign affairs are front and center in the race for the White House as Ukraine's President Zelensky visits the U.S. During his meeting with Vice President Harris, she warned of the dangers his country could face if former President Trump is elected. There are some in my country who would instead force Ukraine to give up large parts of its sovereign territory. Mr. Trump meets with Zelensky later today. He's been critical of the billions of dollars the U.S. has provided to Ukraine, but contends he wants the war to end. I want to save lives. Millions of people are dead. Millions more than they even think about. And it's not my fight, but it is a fight to save humanity. The former president is blasting his political opponent's strategy on another key issue, immigration. Kamala Harris will be visiting the southern border that she has completely destroyed. While at the southern border today, Harris plans to highlight Trump's role in nixing a bipartisan security bill. He killed a bill that would have actually been a solution because he wants to run on a problem. Both candidates are seeking to sway voters in blue wall states. NBC News spoke with some of them. I feel like it's just uh, Kamala Harris is like a step in the right so step in the right direction, even if it is like a small step. And I mean, Trump is not perfect, but at least with his presidency, we know what that would look like. The economy was in a much, much better state. Americans are keeping a close eye on where each candidate stands with less than 40 days until Election Day. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And we're just getting started this hour of Coast TV News today. Yeah, coming up, sports setting surge. The plans to expand a Del Marva facility and the impact it is expected to have on local businesses. Also, managing motorcycle mayhem, what Ocean City is considering after some serious crashes from this month's bike fest. And increased rescue responses. That is what we're being told by the patrol there in Lewis. A look at the trend in emergencies when Coast TV News Today returns. 
positive focused. Supportive and goal oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference, brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. With our vast selection of wines, beers, and spirits, Banks Wines and Spirits is your beverage headquarters. Wild Wine Week begins September 21st to the 28th. Save 20% off on cases of wine. Two wine experts are on site at all times. Daily tastings, shop in store or order online. Knowledgeable sales staff and a comfortable shopping experience. Nobody beats our prices. Your decision isn't where to go, it's what to buy when you get to Banks Wines and Spirits. Please drink responsibly. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know, we felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. To learn more, visit nationalguard.com slash DC. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable power plant, smart pressure sensor, and custom nozzles. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Get your complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for just $79.99 and get free shipping. Plus, we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. 612 on our well, murky Friday morning. Here's our Boardwalk Plaza Cam. Just saw some folks out there exercising before. 72, sun's up uh, in about 40 minutes or so. Here's the clouds and radar right now. Lots of clouds, a little bit of radar activity from Bridgeville over to Lewis. You're seeing a little bit of shower activity there. Maybe a little bit of drizzle and light rain farther south into Maryland and the eastern shore. Also, a little bit of light rain. The steadier rain, southern tip of Del Marva back into Virginia, and some of that will clip our area through the morning. Lower 70s out the door and the wind's really not a factor for the kiddos at the bus stop need the umbrella and make sure you stop and you see that little stop sign on the bus 71 off to school for the kiddos drizzle and light rain still kind of showery and muggy into the afternoon around 76 degrees infrastructure improvement in milton specifically we're talking about the town's wastewater treatment plant and according to officials the chandler street pump station which was originally constructed in the 1960s it's getting some new pumps installed, updated controls, a meter vault, and a platform. Milton says expect to see some traffic and fencing around that site. Moving to Lewis, Captain of the Beach Patrol Strom Edwards released new stats about medical emergencies on the city's beach for 2024. There has been an increase from last year. There were 170 emergencies this year. In 2023, it was a little lower at 158. John Deere has recalled roughly 147,900 compact utility tractors because of a crash hazard. So heads up, the Consumer Product Safety Commission says the front bell crank in the brake linkage can fail. That, of course, can cause the tractor to lose braking, resulting in a crash hazard. The three tractor model versions under recall were sold with both opened and closed operator stations. Consumers should immediately stop using that tractor, and if you have it, contact an authorized John Deere dealer to set up an appointment to bring it in for a free repair. OpenAI is considering a plan to restructure the company to become a for-profit business. The artificial intelligence company and maker of ChatGPT was actually founded as a nonprofit. News of the restructuring coming just a day after OpenAI's chief technology officer and two top researchers announced they would be leaving that company. Still ahead this morning, boundaries on bikers, how Ocean City officials are reacting after a serious crash during this month's bike fest. Cambridge, you're waking up to clouds, a little drizzle for you. 72, it's very muggy out there, and we're looking at the mild conditions to continue with some drizzle and light rain out the door, and then a steadier rain later today, then occasional rain the next few days with the remnants of Helene. I'll talk about that and have your forecast details coming up in two minutes. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV.
Discover the wonders of our environment at UD's Coast Day on October 6th from 10 to 3 in Lewis. Hands-on science, research vessels, and more at this family-friendly event. More info, visit udel.edu slash coastday. Sponsored by Coast TV. This economy has been hard on our wallets, but not on Angela Also Brooks. CNN reports she dodged at least $16,000 in property taxes, illegally taking tax deductions she didn't qualify for. She even took a benefit meant for low-income seniors. But also Brooks wants us to pay more, including higher Social Security taxes. Angela also Brooks, higher taxes for you, illegal tax breaks for her. Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Vacation starts with VA. All that you love, all in one trip. Start yours at virginia.org. The UV Index Weather Report is sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Somewhere to smile about. Time is 617 and we're checking out the live scene in Cambridge. You know, Bob, I'm participating in the walk for prostate cancer. So Sunday's forecast is my attention. As you know, it's organized by First Alert Meteorologist Paul Williams. The president will be in the area, Bob, so maybe he'll want to join us too. Okay. How about this power trio? The president, well, the, the, the Paul, reason I'm yeah, well, Me. The, the reason I'm asking is what if the president says, I like that road to bike on, and that's the road we're having the walk on. And Paul and the president, you know, no, no, we're not going to have that. I'm sure everything will be fine <laughs> for the weekend for the walk for prostate cancer. And uh, Paul Williams will be there. Matt Pensick will be there. And I'm sure several others as well with clouds, maybe a few showers for Cape Penlopen State Park. And maybe President Biden will be there as well. 76 degrees. He might be riding his bike during the walk. So uh, we'll have to see about that. But uh, we are looking at some sunshine, too, I think. So it won't be a, a total washout for that. Our five-day rain chances, 45% chance today. So we are looking at the rain building in later today, 25% on Saturday. But then we up those chances, 60% Sunday and Monday, and 70% on Tuesday. Reason being is we'll see the last of the Helene moisture with an upper level low that will give us some heavier rain. But right now it's just light rain into areas of northern Sussex County from uh, Greenwood over towards Lewis. Just some very light rain and drizzle. Even though you don't see green on the map where you live, you could be looking at some of that drizzle right now. Maybe Salisbury and the eastern shore of Maryland as well. Nothing all that heavy, but there is steadier rain. Southern tip of Delmarva back through Virginia uh, on into West Virginia as well. And some of that will be moving in as we're in this very moist flow. In fact, oh boy, here it is. Helene now quickly moving through Georgia, they have tropical storm conditions around Atlanta into Greenville, South Carolina with all that rain and wind. I'm sure a lot of trees down in this area. And unfortunately, uh, probably sad conditions coming out of uh, coastal Florida uh, with Hurricane Helene earlier. Lower 70s out the door this morning. We're looking at very light winds and still some coastal impacts. We still have a coastal flood advisory for uh, Sussex County that goes until this evening and a coastal flood advisory for Somerset County that goes goes until Saturday morning. Here's future cast. We have the clouds today and into the afternoon, some drizzle and some light rain with mid to upper 70s. I think if you see some sun, you'll be into the upper 70s. And then this evening, you know, looking a little rough for football, wet, rainy and windy too. So get ready for that. Some of that rain could be heavy at times as we go through the overnight hours. Maybe some breaks in the clouds into Saturday morning. And I think we're looking at a decent amount of sunshine tomorrow and that gets us into the low to mid 80s into the afternoon. Definitely a summer feel, but that doesn't last because we move into Sunday. We see more clouds and showers and a little cooler with temperatures into the 70s. Here's Helene now. A tropical storm made landfall in the Big Bend as we had early, heard earlier as a category four. Uh, with its big swirl of rain and wind and it will turn into a remnant low and move over the Tennessee Valley, but then move our way with an upper level low and keep those rain chances going Sunday, but especially Monday and Tuesday, we could see some heavier rain there and then the front finally sweeps all of this out as we head into Wednesday. So decent amount of rain, but we spread this out over several days, so it really shouldn't be a problem by a Wednesday. We could be looking at over an inch for many of us. Paul Davis, seven day forecast 78 today up to 84. Saturday. We'll see some sun and some rain as well. And then I think a better chance of showers Sunday, 78, and then even heavier rain, maybe Monday and Tuesday with that last push of moisture from Helene with mid 70s. Then we finally dry it out as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, mostly sunny by Thursday and 74. All right, Bob, thank you so much. Ocean City is looking at plans to add a special event zone to future bike week events. 
This is after 11 motorcycles were stolen and there were 19 collisions, including one that left a Worcester County teenager fighting for his life. It was on Thursday the Ocean City Motor Event Task Force discussed some changes and precautions they can add to try and prevent something like this from happening again. A special event zone would drop the speed limit in Ocean City down to 30 miles an hour. So we went to Ocean City to hear what people living there feel about this. And here's what one woman told us. It really makes sense. We've done it with all the car shows and it can't hurt. Most, you know, everybody enjoys Bike Week. They come, they spend a lot of money, they're good people. The task force is also looking to add police during Bike Week and potentially crack down more on noise complaints. And this does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what is the biggest issue with Bike Week in Ocean City. So let's take a look at the updated results. All right, let's see what you guys voted for. 69% of you, visitor behavior. That might have something to do with maybe those stolen motorcycles Could be we reported about. 10% of you, the safety risks make sense, but it's obvious what most of you are voting for. A few of you chiming in with uh, traffic congestion and noise levels as well. You can still vote. You can go to coasttv.com slash votes or scan that QR code, or you can vote on our app. Coming up, DE Turf expansion, the plans for the popular Delmarva Sports Facility and the hope for increased benefits for local businesses. From wagging tails to fall vibes and fancy cars, this weekend is packed with fun. Stick around for your cool things to do. Pets are cute. Until they're not. Forgive your best friend. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer Clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Something bad happened. Oh my God, this is it. I really just want that person to rot in jail. There is no way this is happening. You get some news that will change everything. The new season begins tonight. Let us begin. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen DSM Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. Feeling the summer sizzle? Is it turning your home into a sauna? At FH Fur, we know you can't wait when your AC is down for the count. That's why we're offering same-day service, guaranteed. If we don't make it to you the very same day, you won't pay a diagnostic or dispatch fee, plain and simple. So whether your AC is blowing hot air, your thermostat is on the fritz, or your entire system needs replacing, an FH Fur expert technician will bring your comfort back today. 877-GOFFER-FHFUR.COM the 84-acre sports complex up in Federica has started work on a big expansion. We're talking DE Turf, getting a few upgrades, including a new locker room and the addition of 1,000 more seats. The price tag runs about $3 million, with more sporting events lined up in the future and the general growth of the area. This expansion will help keep the facility competitive, which, of course, is a boon to nearby businesses. Get so many athletes that stay with their parents at our Airbnb. So, and that's mainly summer. So, if we can increase that with this expansion of being in the other seasons as well, I think, you know, that's great. And construction is scheduled to begin in early 2025. The goal is for those upgrades to be complete by the 2026 summer sports season. 
First alert meteorologist Bob try he's back with us and earlier Bob in the week I was really hoping to get some beach time in there it looked like I might be able to get some sunshine yeah. today but as we reach Friday maybe not the case well you can still go to the beach if you want to he's like you don't have fun but you can go no I think we will see That's some <laughs> I think we will some peaks see some peaks of sun at the beach today and some clouds as well and maybe a little bit of rain kind of a mixed bag so Matt, I give you permission to go to the beach. You can do that. Uh, just bring your umbrella <laughs> just in case and your sunglasses. Assateague and Chincoteague seeing a few peaks of sun, some clouds, and some showers. I think the rain does build in a little more this evening, so uh, I probably wouldn't be hanging out at the beach into this evening with the steadier rain. And then Fenwick Island and Ocean City, lots of clouds for you. Temperatures into the 70s. Rip current threat is moderate. UV index is moderate. Waves around 2 to 4 feet. On the bay side, unsettled the next three days with showers in Cambridge today. 84 tomorrow, lesser chance of rain. And then more rain on Sunday. And then Chris Hill, similar conditions for you. I think you too will start to see some rain Sunday as we see the remnants of Helene kind of linger into early next week. Much more on that storm and your weekend plans and your forecast coming up in the next half hour. All right, Bob, thank you. Now, if your weekend plans are looking a bit bland, don't worry. You can always spice things up with some local events. And Coast TV's Christina DiRobertis has you covered with this week's cool things to do. Well, there are so many cool things happening this weekend. I don't even know how you're going to choose, but let's start with my personal favorite, Dewey's Golden Jubilee. What could be better than a day at the beach? Well, how about a day at the beach with hundreds of golden retrievers? This two-day event starts Friday with a parade through Rehoboth, followed by a beach day and a bonfire in Dewey Beach on Saturday. Plus, it supports the Golden Retriever Lifetime Study. And if you want a taste of fall, you can head to the second annual Apple Cider Festival in Lewis on Saturday. That's from 10 to 3. There will be apple flavored treats, of course, and a vendor market. It's happening at the Nassau Bridge location of the Lewis Fire Department. On Sunday, classic car lovers won't want to miss the Bob Powell Memorial Car Show from 10 to 2. The Millville Volunteer Fire Company is hosting it in Frankfurt. It'll feature cool cars, antique fire engines, and police and military vehicles. Or you can join Coast TV's Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams for the inaugural Walk for Prostate Cancer 5K at Cape Henlopen State Park this Sunday. And by the way, way, Christina, we're going to have a great time, rain or shine. Don't worry about the rain messing up your pretty hair because we're going to be under a canopy where the pavilion's located and we have a free rain poncho for everybody. Three ponchos. Okay, sounds great, Paul. All right, well, last on the list, we have the His History Book Festival kicking off Friday. It goes all weekend in Lewis with 19 author presentations at four different venues. There will be book sales, signings, and lively discussions. For event details, tickets, and more, just head to CoastTV.com and click on the Cool Things to Do tab. Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. America's Jazz Legacy lives at 2024's 12th Annual True Blue Jazz Festival, October 16th through the 20th, with the most significant artist lineup of any festival on the East Coast. Jazz legends like bassist Buster Williams, the voice of Mary Stallings, piano master Bill Sharlap, plus powerhouse tenor saxman Jerry Weldon and renowned trumpeter Terrell Stafford. Don't miss the annual Saturday Big Band Jazz Marathon. Tops in local and regional jazz and free venues across Rehoboth and Lewis, Delaware for everyone. Visit truebluejazz.org. Get your tickets now. Make sure your neighborhood feels like home with landscaping and property services by Herker Property Maintenance. We combine science and art to create and maintain the landscape masterpiece you've always dreamed of. We can handle the largest developments and commercial properties all over and provide a consistent data evaluation to keep your property perfectly maintained. Clean, innovative, fast, reliable, from landscaping to pavement services and everything in between. Take an innovative approach with Herker Property Maintenance. Design a custom home that fits your unique style and budget with Accessible Home Builders. At Accessible, we provide you with a variety of customizable options to create the home of your dreams. Accessible Builders provided us with a beautiful home. Scott is full of ideas from his past experiences and he really worked with us on all our custom asks and wants. 
we would definitely recommend Accessible Builders. Completely customize your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. The Delaware Celebration of Jazz presents Cancer Survivor Night, an evening of music and dance benefiting the BB Tunnel Cancer Center. Tickets are just $39 and is your chance to make a difference. Show your support by purchasing or gifting tickets today. For more information, visit RehobothJazz.com. Coming up, Drew's cooking with Stephen and Evie Colbert and getting spicy about their marriage. What's the sexiest household chore? Oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> what? Friday at noon on Coast TV. Now on Coast TV News. Category 4 hits Florida. We have the impact of Helene as it made landfall on that state. Helene is now over Georgia as a tropical storm now and will move well to our west, but we'll see rain from its remnants over the next few days. I'll tell you what that means for the weekend coming up. It's now free to park at the beach and why stores in Rehoboth Beach say now is the time to bring in customers before the winter begins. Fixing the flooding, we have the latest attempt by Dewey Beach to keep water off of its streets. This is Coast TV News Today. September 27th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. And the time is 632, Helene, mm -hmm. as we have been seeing all morning wrecking havoc. We just saw some images there a moment ago. Yeah, we're going to show you more of those, I believe, later on. But first, we're going to look locally at your forecast. Not nearly as rainy as it was in Florida, but, you know, definitely still some rain. So we're bringing in Bob right now. Bob, what are we looking at today? Uh, yeah, good morning, guys, and of course, hope uh, thoughts and prayers for those folks in the Big Bend of Florida that they weathered the storm okay with Helene. It was uh, really rough, so uh, hopefully not too bad down there, but a uh, big hurricane for them. For us, just a little bit of moisture, a little bit of drizzle and light rain. Lots of clouds across the area this morning. Grab the raincoat, seeing some drizzle in northern Sussex County, uh, back through Delaware Bay right now. You're okay in Salisbury, back through Newark and Ocean Pines. Just lots of clouds and a little bit of drizzle, also a little bit of drizzle and light rain for the eastern shore, but there's steadier rain moving your way through Virginia, Virginia right now, and that's moving to the north and east. So I think some of that steady rain will be building in. So just grab the rain gear out the door just in case. As we're looking at temperatures in the lower 70s, it's that air you can wear. It's very muggy as we have light wind. So as we go through the morning, lots of clouds, some drizzle, light rain. Watch out on the wet roads. We've got leaves falling. Could be a little slippery out there as well as temperatures slowly rise to the 70s. So we're really in the clouds all day. So some peaks of sun. If we see the sun, you will get into the upper 70s later on. Winds start to pick up as we go into the evening hours and the rain builds in as well. So it looks like it's going to be pretty wet for Friday night football games. Today's checklist, eh, they're all green check marks, raincoat, umbrella, even the rain boots. I'd have those uh, dressed for summer as well. It's going to be muggy later on and even the sun could come out. So make sure you have the sunscreen too and the sunglasses just in case it gets a little bright out there. Thank you. We do have some breaking news now. Georgia is now being hit hard by Helene, like Bob mentioned. We have just learned 2 million people without power. Now we're going to show you some video from earlier in Bradenton, Florida. We're going to show you the Gulf Coast of that state, south of Tampa. Helene hit Florida as a Category 4 hurricane in the state's Big Bend region. It was just after 11 p.m. So just look at what the intense winds are doing there. Nearly 700,000 people in Florida were without power already before landfall. Even more, of course, like we mentioned, likely to continue losing power in the coming hours. Helene is now being categorized as a tropical storm. Just some incredible scenes yeah. there in Florida, and I know Georgia's experiencing something similar. It's much calmer along our coast, and if you do make the trip to many of our beach communities, you now will not have to pay for parking. I love that. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber is in our newsroom. Elisa, stores there are trying to get as much business as they can before things begin to slow down for the winter. Yeah, Matt and Paige, don't be fooled. Even though it's late September, Rehoboth Beach, it's still busy and crowded with people. I was actually there last weekend. It was difficult to find a parking spot because there were so many visitors, but that's a good sight for businesses to see. Rehoboth Beach ended its paid parking period on September 15th, and now the parking season is over. Many locals visit the beach and stores located in the downtown area. The city's finance director told commissioners during a meeting on September 20th the parking revenue is expected to fall short of the projected budget. It could be down a minimum of $200,000, said the city finance director. One store worker says the city still being crowded gives them hope. Like this whole week, the parking's been full. People are taking advantage of the free parking. 
we just wish all of them would come in the store, but yeah, it does help, you know, it gets people in. The city's finance department has not yet finalized the parking revenue for summer 2024. Back to you. Lisa Weber, thank you for that. And while the free parking will help, something that could impact businesses will start on Sunday night, September 29th. It is the Rehoboth Avenue paving project in Rehoboth Beach. And once it's underway, work will take place from 6 at night to 6 the following morning each day, Sunday through Friday. Now, work will not occur during Sea Witch weekend. That begins October 23rd. The Rehoboth Beach Public Works hopes to have the paving done before winter. Flooding, it is a problem in Dewey Beach. It's a big problem, and the town continues to struggle to find the solution. Yeah, as Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us, Dewey Beach officials are now confident a new project will make a difference. Flooding, it happens a lot here in Dewey Beach, but the town is being proactive. They have a plan to help fix the problem and hold storm waters at bay. Residents' quality of life will be vastly improved over what it is today. Robert Palmer with Beacon Engineering presented an infrastructure plan to the town Thursday, and he is confident it can get the job done. With regard to the um, storm flooding in locations such as this, yes, absolutely, this solution will, will absolutely solve the problem. Palmer wants to install two infiltration trenches underground on Jersey Street. The project will cost around $45,000 total for the trenches and will not interfere with the sewer systems. Daryl Helms has lived on Jersey Street in Dewey Beach for 13 years. He says floods in Dewey happen a lot. I'd say we get about, um, it just depends on the rainstorms, but I would say you have three or four floodings a year. This year was a little less, quite honestly, because of how dry it was, but we're just waiting for it to come back. And with the hurricane coming up the coast, who knows? Thursday's presentation wasn't in front of the full town council, but that is where it's headed next. So while there won't be a fix immediately, maybe that's okay. Rome wasn't built in a day, but you'd rather be in Rome than Atlantis. Now, it's important to note that they're going to be underground, so they won't be in the way of cars or pedestrians. And the town realizes that this isn't something they can fix in a day, but they're taking all the precautions necessary to make sure flooding stays at a minimum. In Dewey Beach, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News. Also in Dewey Beach today, the start of the new terms for two of the town's commissioners. It's actually nothing new for the two men that will be sworn in. Incumbents Bill Stevens and Gary Persinger were the only candidates who filed to run in the municipal election. After they're sworn in, the commissioners will vote to appoint the town mayor. Stevens is ending his one-year term in that role. This afternoon, shortly after 2, President Joe Biden will be at his North Shore's home to begin his 11th trip to our coast this year. He's starting Friday in his original home area of Scranton, Pennsylvania. He will then fly in Air Force One to the Dover Air Force Base before arriving at the nation's summer capital. This will be Biden's fourth consecutive weekend spent in Delaware with the previous three at his Wilmington area home. A temporary flight restriction for the coast goes into effect today at 1.30 p.m. Biden is scheduled to leave on Monday morning. A new study shows the presidential race is close across three critical states. According to the latest polling from Marist College, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, they're actually tied at 49% in North Carolina. In Arizona and in Georgia, there's no clear leader either. Trump is at 50%, Harris is at 49%. It's a near dead heat within each poll's margin of error. Still more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead, Maryland school money, the use it or lose it deadline that hits next week. Also Sussex Central streaking. After a one and three start to the season, how the Golden Knights boys soccer team got themselves back over the 500 mark. And some bad news for the Bay. We have the troubling information revealed this week about water quality in the Chesapeake. Stick with us on Coast TV News today. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro. The smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast and so convenient. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires on a single charge. It has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Easily inflate pull toys, 
exercise balls, and more. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for the factory direct price of just $79.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. And we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. To order, call 1-800-771-0865. That's 1-800-771-0865. Or go to GetBullseyePro.com. With our vast selection of wines, beers, and spirits, Banks Wines and Spirits is your beverage headquarters. Wild Wine Week begins September 21st to the 28th. Save 20% off on cases of wine. Two wine experts are on site at all times. Daily tastings. Shop in store or order online. Knowledgeable sales staff and a comfortable shopping experience. Nobody beats our prices. Your decision isn't where to go, it's what to buy when you get to Banks Wines and Spirits. Please drink responsibly. Show a hard-working woman in your life the appreciation they deserve with Working Woman Wednesdays. It could be your mother, your wife, a co-worker, or any woman you know. Nominate them for a chance to win a special prize pack. Go to WBOC1025.com, fill out a short form, and tell us why they are so special and deserve to be honored. Then join me, Stinson, every Wednesday as I announce that week's winner. Working Woman Wednesdays, only on 1025 WBOC. 642 on our cloudy Friday morning, Tyndall's Casual Furniture Cam and Laurel. Yeah, lots of clouds out there. Sun's up in about 10 minutes. You might see it a little bit, but the clouds are going to dominate. That's what we have right now. And just a little bit of precipitation. We had some earlier across northern Sussex County, but right now it's just lots of clouds, maybe a little drizzle or mist, and that's also the case. Salisbury to the coast and the eastern shore. Well, you're seeing some light rain and drizzle as well. There is steadier rain to our south and west through Virginia, and some of that will clip Delmarva. A front to the north will interact with that moisture later on with the rain intensifying later in the day. Out the door, lower 70s and the winds are calm right now. So here's your drive cast looking at wet roads this morning. They could be a little slippery too. Remember, leaves are falling too along with the rain. So I gave it the yellow light for the morning commute and then also uh, gave it the yellow light for the evening commute as, as well uh, with wet roads and the rain picking up. Remember to call the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It's sponsored by Baird Mandalas, Broxton and Federal. Rico. Thank you so much, Bob. So we have some good news and bad news. The good news for the Chesapeake Bay is it's cleaner. The bad news is it's not clean enough. It has fallen short of a key pollution goal. For years, as part of the 2014 Chesapeake Bay Watershed Agreement, work has been underway to clean up the bay, restoring habitats, improving fisheries, and more. But this week's progress report in Washington shows that the cleanup effort is running behind the 2025 deadline. Salisbury University professor Tom Horton says it will take more changes to reach that stated goal. We've done a good job on the air and sewage. We have kind of failed to do what we need to do on the landscape. A lot of that landscape's agriculture. Farming is not as easily regulated by EPA and the states as other sources of pollution. Now, in the wake of the disappointing news, lawmakers are looking to rework their plans in a way that could have a bigger and perhaps faster impact. Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Action has been heating up on the boys soccer field in Delaware. Sussex Central and Smyrna faced off in Sussex County. The Sussex Central Golden Knights at home taking on the visiting Smyrna Eagles. And early on, the Golden Knights were threatening. Already up 1-0, Jefferson Soto de Leon turns on the Jets, gets to the middle, but his shot is ultimately shot down by Benjamin Cordray in net for Smyrna. Later in the half, this time Sussex Central would pay it off. Caleb Perez tracks down the loose ball, fires across his body and bangs it off the back post. A pretty finish makes it 2-0 Golden Knights. But now it's Smyrna's turn to respond. Braden Marshall crosses it in front and Xavion Noble shows off the hops, heads it in and gets Smyrna on the board, trailing two to one. With the half winding down, Marshall attacking again. Initial shot is stopped, but Amir Caballero Perez swoops in and rips it into the back of the net. That goal ties the game at two as we head to recess. Later on, more action for Sussex Central, but it's stopped again in net. Sussex Central, though, would turn on the offense as this one wound down and go on to win it 7-2 to, to get back above 500. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day, everyone. Go
Tonight on DSN, 5.30, it is down and distance, followed by scoops and scores. And at 6.30, we got live Bayside Conference High School football. Colonel Richardson at Cambridge South Dorchester. This one's for you, Paige. Yeah. 10.30, Nittany Game Week. Wow. And then it's the final score. On DSN Plus, you do get that Cambridge South Dorchester Colonel Richardson game. And then here are your DSN Plus exclusives, all high school football tonight. Check this out, 6 o'clock. Kent County at Parkside at 7, Sussex Tech home with Odessa at 7 also at 7, Sussex Central hosting Woodbridge. And here on Coast TV on Sunday night, it's the Ravens fresh off their win against the Cowboys. Back at home, they are taking on the Buffalo Bills. That coverage on Coast TV Sunday begins at 7. Happy Friday, everyone. Here's what's happening today at 4 on Coast Life. And we're finding out, is it yay or nay on some frosty treats with our trending tries? And we're getting competitive, having some fun. We are playing some games on this Friday. That's right. And it's never too early to start thinking about the holiday season, mm -hmm. especially how you might want to give back to our community with the holiday season. All that and more today at 4 on Coast Life. Kind of nay on the weather today. A little gloomy out there. Tunnel and Razor Cam, yeah, cloudy, drizzly, some light rain. And we have more of that light rain as we go through the day, becoming steadier later today. And then on and off rain the next several days as the remnants of Helene work their way through. I'll have your forecast details coming up in two minutes. DSM Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSM Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSM Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSM is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSM Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Solo Cup Saturday night with me, Jared, 7 to 9 every Saturday on Coast Country, 1039 and 1063. Sponsored by Midshore Recyclers Incorporated. 877-CALLFUR, Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get a plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR, FHFUR.com. It's now 6.49 on your Friday. Let's go take a live look now. I think we're going to Cambridge. Bob, see what's going on there? Is that Cambridge? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Well, it looks gloomy like you expected it to be, so yeah. good job. There, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Cambridge, uh, all the boats in the slips and probably staying there because the weather's not so great, Paige. And we're also looking at maybe inclement weather for Friday night lights. We've had a great streak of nice weather for Friday night football, but that probably comes to an end tonight as our forecast is sponsored by DSM Plus. And yeah, the refs are throwing the flag on the field. Personal foul for foul weather. We're looking at 73 degrees at kickoff with rain, kind of rainy at halftime. It will be breezy as well. Uh, the good news is it's mild, but maybe Make sure you have your rain gear as you do have a 40%, 45% chance of rain today. It does go down to 25% on Saturday. I think we'll see some sun, but then those rain chances increase Sunday and Monday up to 60% and then 70% Tuesday as we have an upper level low kind of mixed with the remnants of Helene and that could bring some heavier rain. But right now it's just light rain and drizzle. Not seeing much across Sussex County, maybe a little more for Eastern Maryland and back through areas to the north and then uh, around Salisbury seeing lots 
lots of clouds and that extends back to the coast as well. Just because you don't see green doesn't mean you're seeing a little bit of mist or light rain as we are seeing some of that across the eastern shore. There's a steadier rain building in to D.C. now and parts of Virginia and some of this could clip Delmarva as we go through time. There is a front dropping in from the north so as that moves in and the moisture from the south that will enhance the rain with time and you see the big spin across Georgia. That is the remnants of Helene with a lot of heavy rain and wind around Atlanta back into the upstate of South Carolina. Tropical storm force winds there as Helene made landfall as a category four last night. Temperatures out the door into the lower 70s right now and we've got light winds but still some coastal impacts out there. Still a coastal flood advisory Sussex County. Uh, time of high tide still could see maybe up to a half a foot water rise and watch out as well into Somerset County. You could see that as well. We are looking at future cast with lots of clouds out there this morning. Some drizzle and some light rain, some breaks in the clouds into the afternoon that could get us into the upper 70s for some and then it turns wet this evening. Have your rain gear. Some of that rain could be on the heavy side. Could see some breaks in the overcast tomorrow morning. Then I think Saturday we will see a good uh, chunk of sunshine. So I think we're warming into the mid 80s inland, a little cooler at the beaches, but then some of that moisture from Helene works in on Sunday with clouds and some showers as well and maybe some breaks too. Here is Helene across Georgia right now and that will be moving to the north and then just kind of stalling out over the Tennessee Valley as a remnant low, but then get entrenched with an upper level low. It's all complicated, but it means unsettled weather for us the next several days with showers into Sunday and then a heavier rain builds in later Monday and Tuesday as we see the last of that moisture and then it finally dries out after that as we could see maybe up to a half an inch of rain through the next 24 hours and then by the time we head into the midweek period maybe over an inch. Paul Davis seven day forecast 84 Saturday with some sunshine and some rain and then the rain Sunday could become heavier Monday and Tuesday and then drying out Wednesday and into Thursday with highs into the mid 70s. All right Bob thank you. Time is now 652 and we are going to check in with our coastal pet of the day and today's Coastal pet of the day is from the Brandywine Valley SPCA. We have Miley here, a great looking cat looking for a home. So if you want to meet Miley or any of the other great dogs and great cats they have, you can visit the Brandywine Valley SPCA. And you know, they have some deals going on right now. They always seem yeah. to have some deals, so yeah. it could be a good time to check it out. I think so too. A good weekend for it. Yeah. And don't forget, we love seeing all your pets on Delmarva, so send us photos of your pets at home. Tell us what makes them so special. Yeah, scan that QR code there, top of your screen, get your furry friend us here. And then you can watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. We'll be back after this. What could you do with your new Amish tradesman pole building? A garage, workshop, pool house, office, in-law suite, or just a big old toy box, the Amish tradesman provides some free custom 3D design to reflect your vision built with Amish quality. For nearly 20 years, our Amish crew continues to operate in Southern Delaware, where we live, work, and worship. Call us today to set up your free design consultation at 302-349-5550 or get inspired online at theamishtradesman.com. Join us for the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer in Ocean City on Saturday, October 26th. The walk starts at 8 a.m. on the boardwalk at the inlet. Sign up to walk or lead a team to celebrate courage and hope for breast cancer survivors, those living with metastatic breast cancer, caregivers, and families. Be the hope to help end breast cancer for everyone. For more details, visit CoastCountry.com. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. You rip and tear your old statements and bills, but thieves use this information to steal your identity. Don't be a victim. Get the ID Police, the new ink roller that encrypts all your old documents. So before you throw it out, just roll it on and your information is gone, both on the front and through the back. Even if the paper is held up to the light, even your medical information is safe with the ID Police. So block it out before you throw it out. Order now and get your ID Police for as low as $9.99 and get free shipping too. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now to get your ID police for as low as $9.99 with free shipping. Order now. Call 1-800-803-0512. That's 1-800-803-0512. Or visit getidpolice.com. So call 1-800-803-0512 now. Who am I? 
I'm a mom. I am an abuelo. And I am a big hugger. I'm a sister, tia y amiga. I'm a New Yorker, And I'm the best of both worlds. I am an entrepreneur. The family translator. I'm the number one soccer fan. I'm the life of the party. I am a fro Latina. I am crazy about Latin food. So good. I'm a passionate dancer. I am all that I am. All that I am. Hispanic Heritage. Celebrating all that we are. It's now 6.55. It's time for some things you need to know before you go. Today, President Biden will make his 11th trip this year to his North Shore's home. He's expected to fly from Scranton, Pennsylvania to the Dover Air Force Base and arrive there at around 1.45. Then from Dover, he'll travel to Rehoboth Beach and he'll be in the nation's summer capital around 2.15. This is Biden's fourth consecutive weekend spent in Delaware. A temporary flight restriction for the coast goes into effect today at 1.30. And then Biden is scheduled to leave on Monday morning. A new study shows the presidential race is close across three critical states. According to the latest polling from Marist College, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are tied at 49% in North Carolina, Arizona, and Georgia. There's really no clear leader in those states. Trump at 50% while Harris is at 49% in one of them. Near dead heat within the poll's margin of error. All right, it's coming up on 657. It's time for a look at your forecast before you head out your door. Yeah, Bob, uh, if you like today, I don't know if you're going to get this reference, DJ Easy Rock song, Joy, Pain, Sunshine Ooh. and Rain. Page. No. I'm out on an island. Okay. Sorry. No, no, no. Somebody out there knew it. Not Someone. registering. No, no, but. Sounds, Sounds like a, probably a great song. song. You know, I like to call this like nuisance precipitation, guys. Drizzle and light rain, and that's exactly what we have, just to kind of mess up the windshield and make you grab the umbrella out the door. So we'll have some of that light rain drizzle today, lots of clouds, maybe a little bit of sun. I think we top out into the mid-70s, around 78 degrees later on. Paul Davis, 10-day forecast. More sun on Saturday, 84, a few showers, and then a better chance of rain Sunday. And then we see the last of that remnant moisture from Helene with heavier rain. Monday and Tuesday. Then we finally dry it out after that. And the first week of October does dry out with cooler conditions, especially by next weekend. All right. Thank you so much, Bob. And thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up at 7 a.m. We'll be back as always with Coast TV Midday at 11. And until then, have a great Friday morning, everybody.